Good day everyone. Well, what do we have here? We've got a junkyard dog um, from my mate Mossy's um, scrap pile. Here's this little sticker on here. Don't ask me what it says, I'm not going to bother reading it. Nothing useful, I have already once before. Um, as you can see, it's complete with bird shit. Um, I don't know what that is. It looks like some kind of fruit type of thing. And uh, more bird shit. And it looks like it's spent time in a ute, which is true because my mates do the freeway truck stop toilets on the Hume. And it's spent time in the ute with all the trash. So it's got a cereal pot for the printer. That's how you know it's a really old piece of shit. It's got a separate um, PS2, two separate PS2 ports for the um, mouse and keyboard. Also, how you know, it's really old. It's only got four USB ports. It's got some kind of um, network port on the back. I guess that's what it is. Um, I don't know what this computer's been. Maybe it was a server or something. Uh, maybe it has a server tower connected to it. I have no idea. Someone watching this video that knows a lot more about computers probably will. But I think this has been a workstation. Like, um, turn it around. Yeah, it's nice and scratched. Mostly scratch, not it's a bit dirty, but it's mostly scratch. A couple of USB ports. It's an Intel Celeron, which is basically shit. Cool little power button with the, you know, writing around it, which I do actually like. Don't ask me why. Um, a CD-ROM drive. It's not a burner. All right, well, let's turn this thing around. I need two hands to do this because it's got some ridiculous idiot lock on the case. It's actually quite a neat unit. It's um, not designed to be modified much. It's a... Uh, right, this is the motherboard. It's a Dell motherboard. So, I don't know much about Dells, but um, yeah, obviously they use their own motherboards because um, it's, it's got USB 2 ports on the front of it. That's the stupid little board which is mounted in a weird ass fashion. Chassis intrusion switch. It works, believe me. 40 gig um, Seagate hard drive. Uh, it's, I don't remember what drive it is. It's a, I know that you guys are probably interested in that kind of thing. I know I am, but I've already satisfied my curiosity once, so I'm going to satisfy yours, which is sorry, my is not no, it's a Hitachi Desk Star, November 2004. It says it's ATA slash IDE, but it only has a um, IDE port on the back. Um, 40 gigabytes. Um, it's nothing really that special. It boots up, but the reason why I don't have it hooked up and running, stupid drive won't go back in, that'd be right. The reason why I don't have it up and running is simple. This thing, and I need two hands to do this, um, doesn't actually have any software on it. It's um, It doesn't really boot up to anything. Mm, you piece of crap, why won't you go back in? Oh, what the hell's going on here? Get in there, you pile. Ah, bugger it. I think the clip thing's not happy, but oh well, anyway. Ugh, you sod. It's one of those things that were really good on the drawing board, and uh, probably not so good in real life. There we go. Now it's happy. It's actually, I can see what's gone wrong. It's not quite lined up properly. There we go. It's locked in. Sorry about that, folks, but I've um, been working on cars, so I'm not really in the computer frame of mind. No, nothing interesting, just a steering rack on a Nissan Pulsar. Um, avoid doing it at all costs. Not a fun job. It's got a floppy drive, that's what that... Just what I like about this is it's got little pictographs of everything. Um, it's a CD. Obviously, that's a floppy. And my favourite, look, the hard disk. <laughs> It looks like a little recycling bin or something. It's uh, it's just really funny. Um, what else have we got here? It's got an ATA style power supply. That uh, goes to the 
CD-ROM drive, that's the audio out cable. It's got RAM. It is 120, 128 megabytes of RAM. Um, it's pull it out and have a proper look at it. I'll just zoom out so this will focus because they don't really like focusing when you. She doesn't like the fact that it's. Let me read it out. It is Nanya. N A N Y A. No, I'm not making it up. It's um, 128 megabytes DDR 333. CL 2.5, I think it says. Warranty void if removed. God help us. So, anyway, it's not a very good piece of RAM. Probably reliable, because look, it still works, but. Um, it's only a Celeron, and you know, they weren't really that fancy to begin with. Someone's looking at that going, don't do it that way. It's got a neat little, um, which is kind of a favourite of mine, this little cooling fan on the CPU. Here we go. I'm not going to read it out because you can see it anyway. But it's, um, yeah, I mean, look, if I was ever going to scrap the computer, that fan would be on my list of bits to keep. It's a three wire fan. It's um, quite a neat little unit. There's another one down there for the power supply. Um, really nicely made. They've got ball bearings. And look, um, the bearings are actually really good considering it's a very old machine, so 2004. It's got some PCI slots there, and I also worked out, because I'm not a Dell man, it's got them in here too. That's just that funny network card that's in there. Oops. Didn't stop the video, no. Thought I had, but oh well. It's got another one there, and just it's a matter of just pulling the handle, and it comes out like that. So you got something that's longer than a normal PCI slot. Stupid lens cap in the way. Really pissed me off. Um, so it obviously allows for enough bandwidth. And I'd say you can probably plug a regular PCI card in it. Because it's... Yeah, I mean, it, it, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'd have to look that up. But it's just got an extra bit there so, so you can get more bandwidth out of it for... Um, yeah, but, so, so you can have a couple of ports on that, but it's not a very useful computer. Like, the only reason I picked it up was for YouTube. I mean, I didn't pick it up because of, um, because I wanted to use it. Um, the motherboard looks like it's a CN-0J5903-47 uh, 9852-48E dash 2615 revision A00 and if I look on the motherboard somewhere um, it's got another number there I don't know if I should bother reading it out but it's a um, you know, I had it booted up and I can't remember what the exact designation is but I'm sure you would probably be able to work that out just based on the sticker that I just read out it's got a 2.46 gigahertz CPU in it, and I, I'm not sure. I mean, I can't. There's not really enough space for another hard drive, and it's only IDE. So as far as using this thing for, I mean, I could piss that floppy drive out. I don't think a hard drive will fit there anyway. So there's not there's not enough space for another hard drive. But there, if I piss off the CD-ROM drive, I could put another another hard drive in that. But so to use for CCTV purposes, you'd really need an external hard drive, and I'm not buying one of those, so... I'm not sure what the point of getting this was, but like I said, mostly for YouTube. Um, there's another one here, which I'll do a separate video on. Um, it's a Hyundai case with some no-brand motherboard in it. It's a piece of shit as well, but oh well. 